There's a yeah. big difference between not knowing what the meaning of life is and God, I got to get the fuck out of this job. I can't live my life this way. What's the meaning of life if this is my life? Which is why I always start with, let's get you rich first. Mm. Right? <laughs> Are you happy? I think that money buys freedom and freedom buys happiness. I'm not saying money is the only thing that can make someone happy. I'm not saying money alone will make you happy, but money is certainly a factor to happiness. Yeah. It's like water, right? Water won't make you happy, but if you have no water after a week, you need water. It's all you think about, right? It's the same deal. You can't go without it. Well, money can't buy you happiness and it can't buy you love. It certainly can buy you freedom and it has bought me freedom, right? Today, I can wake up literally and I can do whatever the f I want. Why do I do crazy shit and work so hard anyway? Because I still have a purpose in life, right? See, when you go into work and you gotta work for the man, okay? And you gotta do that because you gotta pay your mortgage, you gotta pay your paycheck, and someone's in charge of you. You don't really have freedom and you resent that. But when you have freedom, when you don't have to do anything, you suddenly want to do more. You suddenly want to go and do shit that you don't need to do because it's your choice now. That's the ultimate freedom. That's a higher level freedom. Freedom at its core is the ability to do what you want, right? If you value freedom, if you value your time, yeah, there's no better way to achieve that than making a lot of money. So of course there's things far more important than material things. I say this all the time because when you have money, people think, ah, he has money, but he doesn't have anything else. You know, all he has is money. And I say, well, there's not much above money. You have love, right? Of the people who you care about and they care about you. You have health because nothing's worth anything if you're dying, right? There's no point in being a billionaire if you're sick. And after love and health, what can't money buy? Isn't, isn't that number three? Money's extremely important. Trying to say money doesn't matter is a coping mechanism. It's a coping mechanism that poor people have so they don't shoot themselves in the head. The smartest thing rich people ever did was come along and say to all the poor people, money, money doesn't, doesn't make, make you happy. happy. Don't, don't worry, don't worry, worry. I'll, I'll keep, keep all the money because it doesn't make you happy. You, you keep, keep slaving, slaving away for minimum, minimum wage. wage. I'll stay over here a millionaire, but, but I'm not happy, happy so don't, don't worry. worry, don't be jealous. jealous. Bollocks, I know plenty of people out there who are millionaires who have a loving family, a loving wife, who are in perfect health, and their life is fantastic. Like me, yeah, like me. So just as soon as you get money, doesn't mean you lose the love of your family and shit. That's not true at all. In order to get to what you need, sometimes you have to get what you want. As much as I can sit on my high horse and be like, oh yeah, money doesn't matter and you know, if I lost everything, I'd still be fine because I'm such a stoic. As much as I can say that to you, you're not going to believe that. You, you can't develop that mindset, okay? You might even disagree that I have that mindset, but I do, okay? But I got there by going down the path of realizing what is important by actually achieving that. If you never have earned money, if you've never become financially independent, you just want to know what it's like to be able to just go drop some money at an expensive restaurant or hotel and not feel like you have to balance your checkbook afterwards. Like you still have all those insecurities inside you, right? You're not going to understand why that is not the end all be all. You're going to think in your mind, regardless of what you try to rationally tell yourself, that that is going to be the thing that is going to fulfill your life and make you happy, but it's not. So we have to kill the demons first. It's fine. It's fun to kill the demons. That's why I'm very practical about it. Because look, the, you know, Buddha was a prince. Okay, he started out really rich, and then he got to go off in the woods. Now you know the real value of money. Watch this video next on the secret to happiness that very few people talk or even know about. This applies whether you're rich or broke. You won't like it at first, but I promise you it will change your life if you simply accept it and make the necessary changes. I'll see you over there.